Nigeria is not better than UK. I am sorry to say it, and it might just be my opinion, but definitely as a coach, having clients in over 50 something countries, you guys know I teach a lot of IT certifications and I help a lot of young professionals transition into the six figure space from their minimal jobs or from their minimum wage kind of jobs. Hence, I am exposed to talking and relating with immigrants or um, citizens in most of these countries from UK, Canada, Australia, Netherlands, um, Dubai, all over the place. So I do have my clients in those countries and I can tell you, I listen to them, I can understand and relate um, when I hear people say, oh, Nigeria, is better than UK. I sold my properties, I sold my assets, I sold my belongings just to raise funds and relocate or move my family to the UK with the expectations that I will have a better life and better living over there. And upon arrival, um, it, <laughs> it seems not to be the way they planned or expected or hoped that it's what's going to turn out to be. And when I listen or watch some of the videos, listen to their narrative, and here is my thoughts and why I will still tell you that if you relocated to the UK, you didn't make any wrong choice. But what you did not do was that you did not make your proper visibility studies. You not carry out the research very well, and the people you were talking to, they were not telling you the things your ears needed to hear. Oh yes, they did not tell you what your ears needed to hear. Hence, you came with that conclusion. Now, you are making plans to packing your loads and relocating back to Nigeria. Now, I want you to pause before you make that decision, before you make that call. Perhaps this video might help you to make a change of heart or to make a, um, a redirection and say, you know what? Let me deal with what I have to deal with before I pack my things and go back to where I felt it was not good and I moved down here. So you ask yourself a question. Is this how I am going to be wasting money to be moving from north to south, from west to east without sitting down one place and getting things done and dealing with the reality of that location? And I want to let you know that success is not in a place. Succeeding is not in a place. Success is in you. So if you were in Nigeria succeeding, you will not move to the UK. Now that you are in the UK, you are not succeeding. You want to go back to Nigeria. So it just doesn't balance up. So I need you to have a rethink by watching this video. And you can share this video to somebody else who is in that same shoes. And sometimes for those of them that are planning to relocate, listen, you definitely need to watch this video and see why you must not make that call or why you must not listen to a lot of side talks and running down another country just because of our personal or selfish interest that we do not want to deal with. First off, when you are relocating to a Western world, this Western world like the US, the UK, Canada, they are very structured. They work and they operate on processes. So if you are a citizen of Nigeria, where we don't have process, we don't have structure to get things done, a, an average structure that we think we have in Nigeria is filled with bureaucracy. And not only is it filled with bureaucracy, it is also filled with guru guru. When I mean guru guru, I mean it guru guru. The guru guru is so much that even when you would have gotten a thing done in two, three hours. It might, be, it might surprise you that that thing will be get done probably in two, three years. And the reason why it's being stalled is because you have not paid a kickback. As in, you, you never give, you, you know what I mean? But you see in the UK, I'm not telling you that those things do not exist. But I can tell you for a fact that a lot of the basic things that you use day to day to operate, it has a standard process that you will just have to go through and to get it done. Who you want bribe? You don't have anybody to bribe. So things will just go through the normal norm. It happens here too in the US where I live. 
You cannot fast forward immigration rules now. If you are dealing with immigration, you are dealing with immigration. I mean, there is no shortcut to it. So you can't deal with that. It becomes a problem. In that regard, Nigeria is better off than what you're, where you are in the UK. Next, let's say you are working with government. Was it your salary that you used to do all the things you were doing? Or is it the sidekick I just said you are collecting? Or is it all the um, side runs that you did just to be able to, you know, accomplish all you were, you know, accomplishing? And we all claim that it is miracle, it is the lost doing. Oh, yes. But in the UK, you have to work for every single dime. And what kind of job are these people doing? Direct care job. Yes, direct care job. Probably if you get paid 29,000 pounds, that's a lot of money. It's contract. It's a lot of money. Now, let's say you're a family of five. What is 29,000 pounds going to do for you after you've paid all your bills? It's not going to be enough. In that regard, where you are coming from, working for the government, collecting, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then every of the contractors that are coming to do stuff, you are getting some stuff back. I asked some of my clients who worked in the bank. They made mad money from some runs. I don't want to talk about it here. And of course, they confided in me. They say, ah, Fred, by the time they block that source, almost everywhere hard, oh. You understand? But you see in this Western culture, this Western world that we live, it is what you earn that is what you live by. Except you choose to go to the other path, whereby it is risky. The day they knock on your door, now that day, your end don't come. You understand? Uh -huh. So you are in the UK earning £29,000, £27,000, depending on the contract. Why wouldn't you complain that Nigeria is better? Because that money would barely pay all your bills and you take care of your small family now that becomes what a problem another reason why you are complaining that nigeria is better than uk after you relocated there is the fact that you are struggling to transition you are fixed in one place you don't want to grow you are doing twenty-nine thousand uh, pounds job you are not thinking of elevating yourself or you are not thinking of taking another trainings or courses that would allow you earn like sixty thousand pounds like if you become a business analyst now in the uk you're going to make a lot of money i have transitioned a lot of my uk based clients from the armenia jobs to business analysts or from the armenia jobs to data analysis at least they pay them from 50 55 60 000 pounds are you hearing me so if you are making sixty thousand pounds would you say Oh, Nigeria is better than UK. And remember, they pay you on time. You collect this money on time. You can do whatever you want to do on time. Compared to our country that they will owe you salary, even in private sector, they will owe you like this. Before that money will show up, you would have incurred so many bills and debts. I am telling you, in that regard, Nigeria is not better than UK. All you need to do is to increase your capacity to better make some extra more money to balance yourself and still do things back home where you left so if you get stuck with that direct care of course you will complain that nigeria is better than uk and meanwhile it is not i have friends i have clients there they make three thousand pounds a month three thousand four thousand pounds a month from being business analysis or being a business analyst being a data analyst being a scrum master, being um um DevOps engineer, name it. There are many positions in the tech space. Or even if you want to become a nurse, find a way and become your mental nurse where they pay them lots of money. What are you waiting for? You were in Niger, you were complaining. Now you are in the UK, you are still complaining. Can't you do something with your life by thinking outside of the box that there could be something I need to do differently? Perhaps you're lacking discipline. Perhaps your body doesn't like processes because you are so used to the kind of life that we were living back home in Nigeria and you think that is how it's supposed to work in the UK. I am sorry. Think twice. And if you are watching this video, you might have to share it to someone else before you make that decision to go back to where you came from. 
you are taking a defeat. Yes, you're taking a defeat because where you are is actually a better place. Because if you sit down and increase your capacity and land yourself a more high paying job, the company will file for you. Yes, the company will file for you in the UK. I, like I said, I have many clients, many contacts who are in that same UK who have gone through these processes and I can tell you that exactly what is happening to them. So think twice before you make that decision because you are biased. Your head is thinking the fast way of making it, the fast way of making it. And you know, back even in Nigeria, a lot of people are balling, they are making money. Don't get me wrong, we have a lot of legit also too that are making legit money. But a lot of them too will not tell you how that money is being made. You cannot trace it, you cannot track it. But you see, where you are in UK, when you work the work you work, everybody know how much they pay in that industry. There is no other thing that you are doing more than that. If you are making, if you are cashing in more than that, almost it's easy to know how much you are making it is easy even here in the us it is easy when they know oh you are in tech this is the kind of tech you do some will know you are even doing two jobs so when they see you drive tesla they will not talk they know ah, that one they bought if you are a doctor or you are a nurse they already know this one is you understand me but if they know you are working at cna or you are working in a factory and you are doing more than yourself um, they don't even have to, to tell you that they know what this one is doing do you understand me? So, again, UK is still better off than Nigeria in so many ways in this regards. So, before you listen to the side talks, before you make that decision again, you pack your things and go back. Understand that life is a process. And because you just relocated to this new location, you need to follow through the process and balance and you will be just okay. But if you don't balance and begin to follow the rule hard when you get, you have yourself to blame. I always remember your boy, your village coach, Coach Wilfred Asukor. It's out.